Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for our weekly art-based meditation brought to you by the National Museum of Asian Art. I'm Demi Mohammed, the museum's public programs assistant, and I'm thankful that you've chosen to take this time to share with us. Today's meditation will be led by Aparna as we focus on the multi-panel Japanese screen from the Edo period, early 17th century. This particular screen has a ton of detail and will hopefully help us train ourselves to look mindfully, both at the art and at situations in our lives. Again, we thank you for joining us and I'll pass it to Aparna to get us started. Good afternoon, everybody. Namaste. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here and uh, share your practice with me this afternoon. As Demi shared, uh, our practice today will be inspired by this really huge screen uh, that has a lot of fans scattered. So let me start by sharing a picture of this work with you. And just to give you a sense of its um, size, it's it's about 60 feet by one, sorry, 60 inches by 140 inches. So, so you could imagine like more than 20 feet uh, in its width. And, um, and it has a lot of intricate details on each of these fans. It's a work of um, color and ink on, uh, with gold and silver on uh, gold paper, like the background is fully gold and then it's been painted over with all these beautiful fans, each one of them depicting a lot of intricate details. So as you could have guessed, our practice today will incorporate a lot of close looking. And to prepare for that, I invite you to take a few moments to center your attention. So let me guide you in that practice. So we'll sit comfortably, sitting upright, lengthening the spine, maybe closing the eyes or just lower your gaze. Let's start by taking a deep breath in through the nose, deep breath out through the mouth. Deep breath in and a deep breath out. Like we're breathing into the here, breathing out into the now. And then let the breath happen on its own. Just notice where your attention naturally is. And having acknowledged that our attention might like to gravitate towards something that's not perhaps a part of this moment, let's invite ourselves with kindness, with love, to being here now, to being attuned to the body. And in terms of attuning to the body, one place that we could start is noticing the sensations that each part of the body is feeling. If we don't observe any sensations, we'll just acknowledge that. Let's bring awareness to our hands. Four arms. Elbows, upper arms, shoulders, chest, waist, upper back. Lower back, hip, seat, thighs, 
knees, lower legs, feet, the neck, the face and the head, Having thus checked in with the body and acknowledging whatever is unfolding through the body, let's now try to relax the body. And the way we're going to do that is by imagining that we're breathing into each part of the body as I mentioned it. So if I say, imagine breathing into the hands, just imagine your breath as energy. You can visualize it as light. Just imagine that as you breathe, this light is flowing into your hands or wherever the meditation is at that point. So let's relax our hands. Relax the arms. Relax the shoulders. Let's relax the chest and the waist. And we'll relax the legs. the feet, relax the neck, and relax the face. Breathing in, we're here now in this body, right this moment. Take a moment, maybe close your eyes if they're open just for a bit. And let's just sense the surroundings from this intuitive place of awareness. Just try to let your consciousness expand into the sides, front and back, above and below. As you pay attention, sometimes you may notice you're holding your breath. If that's happening, just free your breath. Let the breathing happen while we continue to build more and more attention and awareness. Breathing in, we're here now. Now gently open your eyes and relax your gaze first, especially because there's so much to look at today. Relax your gaze. If your eyes feel tired, you may rub your palms. And if it's safe for you, you can cup your eyes with your palms. Another way to relax is to look at something green around you. It is known to relax the eyes. So you can use all of these tools as we now go on to closely examine this gorgeous golden screen with lots of scattered fans. So as you can see, the screen is divided into six panels. And across those panels, we have a beautiful random array of fans, some of them open and some of them folded. What is the luminosity coming from that golden background? 
for a moment, can you imagine if this screen was placed near perhaps a somewhat lit or sunlit window? How its luster would come through? And that shine falling on the person viewing this beautiful screen. And as mentioned before, this screen is really huge, like 60 inches high or tall and 140 inches wide. So, so if you were to stand in its presence, either you have to stand far away to view the whole screen. And if you had to look at it closely, you would probably have to walk across. So now let's imagine that we're standing really close to the screen and we're looking at it from left to right. The viewer is left to right. So here we'll quietly look at each of the screens or each of the fans paying attention to whatever details we can discern. Slowly begin to move from left to right and top to bottom. Zoom out temporarily and just take a moment to process whatever we have seen. We've seen a lot already in just these first two panels. What all do we recollect seeing on these fans? And then when we're ready, we'll go on to look at the next few panels and zooming in to the maximum. Perhaps you might find it interesting to notice that even as these folded fans have been painted, the scene looks quite continuous as opposed to giving us a sensation of foldings, this silk or paper in between. It looks like one continuous screen or one continuous image.
Again, we'll zoom out. Take a moment to process. And if you're feeling tired with all of this information, let's take a few deep breaths. And then when we're ready, go back. And then continue into the last two panels of this screen. And we'll zoom out completely and just take a moment to see whatever information you could retain as you look through the screen. You could pay attention to what naturally drew your attention. For some of us, it might be the landscape, the natural world. And yet for some of us, it could be the warriors, the stories of legends perhaps that is being depicted in some of these fans. So as we put together these tidbits of information in each of these fans, what do we understand about this screen? Why did Sotatsu paint the screen? And who could have been its owner? Could the content depicted on these fans in the screen pertain to the tastes of the patron who must have assigned this work to Sotatsu? Just take a few moments to go back in time by 400 years when this work would have been painted in the early 17th century. And when all of this analytical thinking with attention feels complete, let's go into a more intuitive practice. Let's pause screen sharing for some time and let's focus on the quality of the fan, which is to blow wind. And one of the ways we could experience that is to place our hands over the chest and imagine the chest rising and falling like a fan being fanned. So we're going to take slow, deep ujjayi breaths, 
softly engaging the throat towards the spine. Like when you try to swallow or you make a whispered speech. Then breathe in and out with that slight engagement of the throat towards the back. When you breathe this way, you will hear a gentle breeze-like sound like the ocean waves or the breeze by the seaside. And slowly try to breathe out through the mouth as if you're blowing a candle. The chest is the fan through which we're blowing out this wind into the world outside. Be so with this practice for another 30 seconds. Let go of the practice. Gently open your eyes. And just looking at the way these fans have been placed, just imagine these fans were physical fans that were hung onto a screen. What direction could the wind be blowing? Maybe it's structure and maybe it's turbulent. What do you sense about the speed of the wind based on the placement of these fans? And how does that sense of movement conveyed by the positioning of different fans add to the meaning that all these images are perceived by the mind right now. When this line of thought is complete, now we'll go on to pick any one fan, anything where you can see the full fan, an open fan. And just start at the very, you know, apex or the point where all these 
bamboo rods would meet. Imagine this point as the starting, imagine it as the first ever beginning, maybe of your life, maybe of time. Just imagine each of these lines here radiating from this beginning point. is one narrator, one role perhaps. And think of this sort of peripheral part of the fan where the picture is painted as the narrative that has come together by weaving through together all these different lines of thought, habit, actions through the different roles we have performed in our life so far. All of that culminating into the here and the now. As we flow through life, one breath at a time. We began with this first breath and to the breath we come back. So in honor of this breath, let's spend one full minute just focusing on the rise and fall of our chest as we take slow, deep inhales here and slow, deep exhales in the now. And whenever we're ready to come out of this practice, let's join palms in prayer. Taking this moment to think about all that we could be grateful for, all of the positive, supportive, nourishing experiences of our life. Maybe offering gratitude to the people, places, time, all of which allowed us to experience those nourishing moments. If we feel right, we could also take a moment to offer gratitude for every challenging experience that has helped us find a creative, more innovative and resilient side to ourselves. And in that spirit of being able to witness life, witness its polarities with a sense of equanimity, may we bow to the light right here within ourselves. May we bow to the light of the teachings of yoga and the teachers whose efforts have kept this ancient wisdom alive since thousands of years. May we bow to this luminous work by Sota, uh, Sotatsu, the creative energy of the artist that offered us food for inspiration today. And may we bow to each other. Like we're saying, the light in me honors the light in you. <laughs>